Hi, this is Lois, No Cruise Control. Um, I am on Golden Horizon, Trader and Voyages. Uh, this is my first blog, or vlog post rather. Um, I'm in our cabin. We very kindly had an upgrade. We were supposed to be on the marina deck and we are now, well we're supposed to be aft marina deck and now we're midship gallery deck. Um, but yeah, I'll do a, a cabin tour at some point, but nice, um, small cabin, but definitely sufficient for us on this um, short trip. I'm in my rash vest, <laughs> swimming costume, because um, we have just spent the day by the pool, um, which was very nice. The weather was beautiful. Um, I think it hit 32, 31, 32 degrees. The pool is cold, but it's very nice. But um, I'll talk about that tomorrow, I think. I thought I'd quickly um, talk about embarkation on Golden Horizon, um, which was very good. Um, we stayed the night before in near Maidstone in Kent. We are, we live in Kent, the Kent-London border, but we just thought we'd want to extend our holiday by a day. Um, so we stayed in the potting shed in Kent, of which I will do a review because they were brilliant. Service was excellent and the rooms were beautiful and it was only £88, which I know was a lot of money, but for the decor of the building and the food that we had included brilliant um, value for money and definitely somewhere we'd stay again. Um, anyway, that's another time. So we drove down to Dover a bit early, so we were National Trust members, so we went up onto the White Cliffs National Trust um, car park area and admired both Morella Explorer that was docked for the day um, on a day trip of its passengers, I think it had taken on um, passengers in Southampton, um, so they stopped in Dover for the day. Um, so they were there and then Trader and um, Golden Horizon Trade and Voyages was there. When we came round the hill into Dover you could see the masts, you were like, oh wow, we're, she's here. Um, after a quite a few false starts, we're finally going to be on board. Um, so yeah, we went to the dock when we were due to get on, very short queue um, to get into the dock which was fine, we were in a rush, um, the ship was there, we were just due to get on. Um, drove around in our car to like the shed kind of port area um, and then we waited a bit but it, it wasn't long and we were excited because we wanted to get on the ship. Uh, <clears throat> we were given like a health questionnaire form which I'll pop a picture of um, to fill in which is like the usual cruise questions anyway with you know diarrhea and vomiting and all that jazz. Um, but also obviously now COVID questions and like asking when we had our COVID vaccination, what what vaccination it was, although vaccinations are not mandatory for this um, voyage, they just wanted to know details I guess because the more people vaccinated the better. Um, we then, well, we were given request forms for our COVID test as well and then we drove around to a different desk of which pulled down the window and the lady gave us the, the swab to swab in your nose and did it yourself definitely did it far enough, I felt like I was poking my brain, so used to doing lateral flows now, um, obviously being a nurse in ITU I have to do them like, all the time, um, but yeah, so test done and then we were so nervous waiting the results, <laughs> which is bonkers, waiting for exam results, you know, but I think it was just, oh my god, the results of these depend whether we go on a cruise or not and how, how heartbreaking it would be for people if they'd come there, they checked in, done the test and then that came back positive and then you'd have to drive away from your ship which is you know obviously the thing to do because it'd be unsafe to cruise but you're just like oh my god if anyone that happened to anyone I, I feel for them so much um yeah that would have been heartbreaking but luckily we were negative big we had to drive around to another gentleman and then he put a big sticker on our passport saying we were covid free um then we drove around um outside of the hut and round to kind of the area where we got on Scarlet Lady last in yeah last year um, but not to that check-in bit um, to a smaller one so then we parked our car the car was checked in normal way that cars are usually checked in in Southampton before Covid um, you know, someone comes checks you in take photos of your car um, help you take a luggage from your car and then um, took the key and then drove the car off we paid for we paid for under roof parking purely because when we were there in February 2020 when we went on Scarlet Lady we did get the train down um, and we watched as the waves crashed 
over double the size of the seawall all over the cars parked there and we were like we love our car we don't want our car to get rusty and you know it is Britain we could have um, a storm at any time who knows you know um, the weather is absolutely gorgeous today but you know it can't be relied upon we are in Britain after all um, so yeah our car is inside safe um, they reassured us they're not going to sell it <laughs> um, and then yeah, and then there was a man checking his, a man giving his luggage tags. Now, this worried me slightly because I was like, we don't have a luggage tag on our, like, um, case. Like, how will it know, how will the people know which cabin to take it to? But they'd obviously thought, well, I think it was a hindsight thinking of. I mean, usually I'm sure people would be sent luggage tags in the future, but we had them put on just outside the port building. Then we were sent to security, and that's usual security. Um, was it we still all had our masks on? Um even though it was freedom day i hate freedom day none of us were locked up you know um but anyway that's another issue um yeah so we had our masks on out of respect for others and even though we were all tested negative it's just um you know you never know incubation periods could be happening and yeah we would rather be respectful of the people around us so we had our masks on as did everyone else um we then we yeah we then went up through the um little cruise terminal it wasn't the one that we went on to get on Scarlet Lady that was big this one was just very little um, went upstairs and then it was just follow the signs to the ship and straight onto the ship and then the only thing weird that was getting on the ship there was no like oh welcome this is our maiden voyage welcome it's a knuckle voyage like had we not known and specifically booked it like you would have no idea that this is the maiden voyage which is no problem I just expected there to be, you know, a bit of party, a bit of celebration, but nothing, just like a normal cruise, which is fine because this ship is amazing. Um, but yeah, I just expected them to like make something of it, but not yet, nothing yet. Um, then, well, then we were tra taken, transported, I was going to say, then we were escorted down to the reception desk um, and we were checked in very efficiently, quickly, picture taken. Um, passport checked and an ID which I have in my pocket here um, given little ID um, then then we were then escorted to our cabin our cabin has changed three times so like I say we were off uh, marina deck which is right at the back right at the bottom the cheapest cabins and then um, we were upgraded to midship uh, gallery deck which we well we would we should have been in the cabin next door but then they put us in this cabin which I'm pretty sure they're identical and they're an upgrade so do you know I'm not going to ever say anything very grateful for the upgrade um, and we are so there's one cabin next to us but I, I don't expect there's anyone in there because we can't hear anyone anyway um, and then after that it's the restaurant so it's a fab location um, yeah so then we came to the cabin we explored. I did a video of the cabin and first impressions. First impressions were a little bit underwhelming, to be honest, but I mean, the cabin itself is fine. Like, the bed is lovely, comfortable, the portholes are cute. Um, like, we'd always usually go for a balcony, but the balconies on this were sold out. Um, so that's why we went for the cheapest um, ocean view, but then kindly got the upgrade. Um, yeah, it's the the portholes are lovely. I don't know. It's just little things like I know I'm used to cruise ships that put mirrors around and put mirrors in certain places to make cabins look bigger. It feels like in this cabin they've literally like let's throw some mirrors in, and it will make it look bigger. But actually, all the mirrors are like along the same area of the cabin. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's a beautiful cabin. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm not criticising it. It's just um, yeah. I think. I don't know. I, I think I would use the, the mirrors separately. And you'll see on my video, there's a door on the wardrobe that I was trying to get in on my video for ages because it's the first time I'd gone into it like a reaction video and I couldn't get in and I realised that it's just a mirror. There's no, nothing to get in. Um, which again is a bit weird, but um, I mean, we're only on for five nights so we don't need a massive amount of storage. But yeah, storage isn't the best, but it's a beautiful cabin otherwise. Can't, can't complain. Um, yeah, and the ship is gorgeous. That's my only two bugbears, really. The mirrors are just weird. The weird extra bit is weird. 
and the fact that no one is acknowledging that this is a maiden voyage it's a bit strange but do you know i'd be like oh this is like amazing mm. champagne and because drinks are free for us so but yeah no and also i'd think like when they put the sails up last night they didn't tell anyone like there was a t time in the um the daily daily program in the daily program um there was a time that they were going up and we went up before that time but they were already up <laughs> and the end of the music um was playing but that's fine we'll see the cells go up another time it's just i don't know communication doesn't seem to be the forte of the people in charge the waiters and um bar stewards and stuff are oh, fantastic like you know any cruise company they're just brilliant but communication in people higher than the general kind of crew it's a bit weird but I mean they're not rude they're not bad it's just I don't know it's just not it doesn't seem organized but everything's happening fine so it must be um, I don't know just a little finish of something needed um, yeah I mean we got on I told you we were shown here I'm just looking through my notes um, so we turned to the cabin we went for a nose round, yeah, after I did my cabin tour and we were happy with the upgrade again. Went for a ro nose round, there's not much to nose round, it's beautiful. Um, didn't take as long. Um, but that's, like, that's not a negative at all, that's a positive, it's, it's beautiful. I just, it's breathtaking, this ship, it's just, like, I uh, just can't get over how beautiful it is. Um, we unpacked, and for the stuff we bought, there's ample space to unpack. Um, so, even with my little wine of the like random door that won't open we didn't need any extra storage space so for five nights it's absolutely sufficient I think I struggle with 14 nights but then I guess if you're doing 14 nights it'd probably be somewhere nice and warm and you wouldn't need too much you know you could wring out your swimming costumes and take a few and yeah they'd probably be fine um, we then went to have a drink we went to the Horizon um, bar and grill and had a drink there and we're given a lovely rum punch cocktail and did have another round which was delicious and it's a nice novelty to just order drinks and not have to pay um, which is a special deal they're doing on this maiden voyage um, we then went to a welcome meeting in the piano bar which the middle bit of the ship the uh, bottom few decks are the restaurant and then the top deck is a piano bar which surprisingly is a bar with a piano <laughs> Um, which is beautiful and we went there and listened to like a welcome aboard um, thing uh, talk and that was well organised they were telling you all the people that were in charge of different parts of the department of the ship um, again not really any mention of it being the inaugural voyage or or the maiden voyage just very welcoming and very happy and very knowledgeable and um, lots of information given just nothing really mentioned at all about the inaugural cruise which is just a bit weird but anyway um we then went for dinner um at the table for two i can say the restaurant's only a couple doors away which is amazing uh the service was fabulous the waiters were brilliant we had two um waiters that were really good wine included with dinner i'm not a big wine drinker um but dave enjoyed the wine uh the meal was lovely um i'll probably do a different sort of um, film with food on but um yeah it was delicious the food you can't fault it and the service was brilliant um Dave made the mistake of going oh I can't choose which pudding to have so surprise surprise the a waiter bought both <laughs> um I'm not too sure what the menus would be like for people with dietary needs but they're always asking us do you have any dietary like special requirements and we always say no but if you had them I'm pretty sure they would um, cope fine and would sort you out um, they seem hot on that they keep asking um, we then went to watch the sails go up which we were expecting to watch from the start to finish but it already um, happened really but it was fun the sails beautiful it was just breathtaking seeing the ship because before we'd seen just the masts up but um, sailing along with the sails up it was really beautiful um, definitely very moving really and nice you know just something very unusual I've never been on a ship like a sailing ship as big as this and it was 
it was spectacular can't wait to watch it more um <clears throat> watched sunset over kind of dover way which um it's nice and <laughs> the lady there bless her i think she'd had a few drinks um and why not she's on holiday but she was shouting at someone who was on hive beach her boyfriend i think and um we were a long way from hive beach i don't think you could hear her but hey it made her happy <laughs> she was very sweet and very friendly um bumped into her rich and helen as well bumped into them earlier as well when we were looking around the ship which is very nice it's lovely to meet fellow bloggers um i met marcus and paul and carol on msc virtuosa and we had dinner uh, lunch in the yacht club and then it was very lovely to see um rich and helen here and as we're on such a small ship we keep bumping into each other which is lovely because they they do seem really really nice um yeah so we went to the horizon bar then and sat there for most of the night um we there were some singers on called it takes two um both from wales i don't know if you can hear that noise <laughs> it's my husband in the bathroom getting ready and i think it's the hairdryer so there's a hairdryer in the bathroom that's built in and it's one of those really old-fashioned ones i don't know as a kid i would always see them in like the council swimming pool do you know like with a long tube on it into a box on the wall I'm pretty sure that's what that noise is, so sorry. Um, yeah, the singers, so they were from Wales. They were a brilliant singers, and the gentleman has an acoustic uh, guitar, but he has an electric guitar as well. So we watched three sets that they played. Um, and then we went for a walk around and I took some photos. Long suffering Dave followed me, taking lots of photos. Um, we went to bed really quite late for us um, on a cruise. So I went to bed at half past 11. Um, did set an alarm so we didn't want to miss breakfast because we're greedy um, and yeah I'll talk about breakfast tomorrow breakfast was interesting it was delicious and the service from the most junior waiter was like marvellous and I think he's who made our breakfast because the other two waiters the waitress and the waiter and the maitre d' ignored us I, mean, I don't know um, but we're on holiday so there's no rush do you know we were only waiting to go to sunbathe so and the food was absolutely delicious when it came I don't know it was just a bit strange but uh, yeah like this, the really junior waiter he was fabulous an asset to the company and I'm sure he will um, go up the ranks quick bless him because he was brilliant um, yeah I'll talk about Tom today probably tomorrow I think I'm going to try and do a vlog up on deck. Um, we'll see how that goes. But I'm on such an amazing ship with such an amazing deck. It seems a waste not to go up there and take a video up there. A vlog even up there. I'll take plenty of videos there. Anyway, um, that's it. Message me um, if you have any questions. Um, yeah, it's a wonderful ship. I do not have a bad thing to say about her. Bye.